we are, ladies and gentlemen. Melting Valley. Pretty cool map. Um, kind of sad that it's not in the map pool. And, um, yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with this map, give you a quick tour. Of course, we have a tavern in the middle. In the middle. We have Goblin Merchants at 12 and 6 o'clock. Um, yeah, next to the main base, we have Merc Camps and the Gold Mine. So, for expansion possibilities here for both players. And yeah, Common Laboratory here as well. Interesting uh, positioning because, well, if a player is creeping, he naturally could pull the Ogre Lord and the Mauler. And yeah, Ogre Lord, of course, with the Shockwave could be pretty painful. And also very interesting that there's no anti-air creep here. So yeah, with a lot of patience, you could creep this camp super easily with even one Garg. Even though I will take forever anyway eg grubby evil genius grubby starts top right blade masters the first hero barracks double orc borough for the tech phoenix remind bottom left with the demon hunter as the first hero two moon wells and the ancient of war here at the ice troll camp already creeping the first spot Entire, please. So yeah, does work. Um, the, what they are talking about right there um, is a, f a function in the GG client or GG or G Arena, which it was called later, um, called Anti Spike. So it could use, um, you could use this. Okay, Grubby selling DP, getting two healing cells, and the scroll speed immediately uses the healing scroll. Uh, uh, speed scroll. Uh, yeah, you could use activate anti. You could activate anti spike, and um, then, well, apparently, you're not getting any spikes anymore. The ping is a bit higher, but um, yeah, I think a higher ping is definitely. better or you know can deal with it better than with spikes so that's that i think always we told melting valley yeah um i don't know for me as an orc player i really liked melting valley back in those days play master by the way now chasing an archer archer is going down while oh, blade mess is not even forced to use the dust of appearance here Oh, let's see. Tier 2 tech, about 50% done here for Remind. He gets more Moonwells in his main base. Grubby also started his tech. Yeah. And with the Grand and the Blade Master, he's now going for the Yoga Magi here. So all the TP. Oh, Boots of Speed should be available now for him. Claws of Attack plus 9. And there we go, Boots of Speed as well. Perfect item for Grubby here at this creep camp. Remind, uh, kind of unfortunate, the Wisp gets ensnared. Oh, there's the Death Knight. Oh, and the Demon Hunter is here. Oh, Dust of Appearance and Mana Burn. Boots, yeah, will secure the Grunt Kill. Probably uh, trying to bait him here with the low HP D, D, blah, Blade Master, but this is not happening. And Remind gets the kill here. So, let's see. Third Ogborough going up. Most exciting fights for Ogborough at the fountain. Five minutes, nothing died. Yeah, true. Maelstrom and Lost Temple. Perfect maps for Ogborough. So, Beastmaster. Second tier now for Remind. And yeah, no Huntress Hall. Ancient of Wind. So we will see to wits of the Talon. Other player now creepy Goblin Merchant on his side of the map. Ring of Protection plus three. And oh yeah, we have an ice map, so we have those cool, uh, bit undead looking uh, cool beasts here. Uh, Blade Master 
Almost level 3 is coming in. For oh, he steals the last creep and gets level 3. Jesus. Okay. Oh, boy. So, Grunt's finished another creep camp here, I think. Um, level 3 Blade Master against a level 2 Demon Hunter. Blade Master and also with the Ring of Protection plus a 2 here. Yeah. Um, talking about 2. Tier 2 tech is done. So, we get 2 buildings. We get the Beast 3 and the Spirit Lodge. And we get a second hero. The Torrent Chieftain. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering why he's why he's going for the Spirit Lodge, well, back in those days, Spirit Walkers were produced in the Spirit Lodge. Not in a Torrent Totem like it is nowadays, but in the Spirit Lodge. Therefore, for Spirit Link and Dispel, he needs the Lodge. Knight of Player is creeping. Goldman on the left hand side here. Scouted by Grubby. Now let's check Remind's main base. He's <clears throat> very qu uh, w quick with his tech here. So, um, yeah. No archers at all. Just a Beastmaster and Demon Hunter. I mean, he had one archer in the beginning, uh, which was killed by the Blade Master. And, uh, well, just, invest just invests the resources here in the Tier 2 buildings and a quick tech. So we have the Druids of the Talon now with the Adept training. So we have Fairy Fire in the Crow form. TC is out. Going for the Order first. Scroll of Speed and uh, two healing selves. TC needs to get to level 3 as quickly as possible. Because you need the Shockwave. Remind continues his creeping at the Merc Camp. Gets a big healing potion for the BC boy. Hawk, of course, very helpful. Oh, another player. Will not get cre uh, creep checked here by the Blade Master. Okay, the free tech is done. Master upgrade is in the pipeline. Just waiting for the third hero. 31 supply. For a Remind 40 supply for Grubby. <laughs> hey, Cookies Rain. Welcome. So, TC. Grab the first camp here. Creeps the second one here. Level two and a half. We have the first Spirit Walker and we have the first Raider. Still on Initiate. But the adept training is in the pipeline. There we go, Tinker. Third here now. Oh, Blade Master gets revealed here by the Hawk. There's the mana burn. Ah, Krabby's not yet ready for the fight here. He needs to level up. Another Blade Master, of course, is revealed. Transferring a few items here. Two gloves of face now on the Blade Master. Oh, and he gets Cyclone. There's nothing in the inventory to save him, and his Windwalk is running out. This could be a problem for Grubby. Okay, now he needs to fight. Shockwave is going in, and Snare on the first Druid of the Talon. Pocket Factory in the back gets a actually a pretty good position here. Blade Master once again surrounded. Orc Army is going in next. Shockwave is going in. TC. Not getting mana burnt here. That is not good, but the Blade Master might die here. He's trying to get his way, fight his way out of there, but this is not happening. To see mana for the next shockwave. Jesus, the mana burn was a tiny bit too late here, only burning eight mana points. Grubby is getting lo a lot, a lot of unit kills here. Uses the scroll of speed, but the cyclone. This might be the end of the TC here. Let's see. Oh boy, TC is surrounded as well. So many low HP units here. Grubby loses the TC as well. Loses the Grunt and loses another Raider. Oh boy. Tough times for Orc back then. Those Druids of the Talon, I can tell you. They were pretty, pretty scary. Quilla goes. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, Grubby uses another Ensnare. And there we go, level 3 Beastmaster. Tinker close to level 2 here. We're on Remind. Creeps a big camp now. And gets an expansion. Oh. 
Book of the Dead here. Ooh. That's also not too shabby, to be honest. I mean, we have three Spirit Walkers here, but once the Dispels are gone, this could be a very, very, very helpful item. Let's see. TC is back. Blade Master. Still in the Altar of Storms. 46 supply for Grubby. He's not giving up. Gets level 3 for the TC. Hawk. Also going down. But the Nighter player knows now where Grubby is creeping. And he's going in for the creep check. Scroll speed is activated. Grubby yeah, he can't take this fight. And Snare used on the <laughs> Snare used on a demon hunter, but the creeps are ensnaring one raider. Two cyclones wasted here on the Spirit Walker. Oh, the third one as well. If he's mana burning this... Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's getting all of the mana points of Grubby. Now, mana burn on the Spirit Walker would be epic. Shockwave is going in. No, Spirit Walker is going down. Just going in for the kill. Rockets... Going in those to those raiders, scroll of feeling activated. This is not looking good for Grubby. Oh boy, shockwave, fairy dragon also doing a nice job here. And GG's called by Grubby. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy.